What's going on? How are you guys? It's a beautiful day in New York. Despite me being stuck in this warehouse, I can see the clear blue sky, perfect weather, and I'm envisioning myself on a beach surrounded by Israeli girls, perhaps the Maldives, because I'm getting sick of this warehouse. But we got a little while to go. So let me show you guys my lunch real quick, and then we'll talk about what's going on this week. I didn't actually bring lunch today, but after being in that freezer for three hours, I got hungrier than I thought I would. So I had a bag of this organic beef jerky, which has way too many ingredients. Not really that good for you, but you know, some protein to hold me over. I had a few bites of this 100% cacao bar. It was just so, so bitter. Uh, I couldn't really eat more than that. It was just for a little bit of caffeine, a little bit of fat. And usually if you get a single source chocolate, uh, they actually taste reasonable, but uh, this was so bitter, I only had a couple bites or, well, maybe a quarter of the bar. There's some other chocolate here that I don't really eat that much because you know, I try to avoid the sugar they put in it. Uh, so I ended up having a couple of organic figs. These are really, really tasty. I like these. They're just some carbohydrate energy as well to keep me going. Hydrating with mineral water. By no means is it a meal, but it's about as much as I want to eat and I'm pretty full right now. Uh, some of you might be wondering why I'm wearing a hat, and these are actually the EMF hats we sell on Wi-Fi Shielding. So it's a flex fit cap and there's silver fabric lining the inside that protects some of my brain. I feel you know a bit better when I wear it. Obviously, the head covers what you need to block your face. I mean, if you're wearing this hat, if you had a bandana around your face too, I just don't like too much obstruction when I'm working all day. So the only real update I can give you guys on the farm and slaughterhouse this week is that I'm waiting on some paperwork from my accountant, uh, mainly the tax return for last year, uh, some other stuff, and then maybe I'll reach out to some banks. Uh, I'll see how the loan prospects are looking. Hopefully I can let you guys know what's going on in, in two to three weeks from now. Uh, we did get venison in stock. I think I have about five cuts of venison uh, that I'm going to show you guys. And yeah, I'm pretty happy. The only thing I haven't really been able to source is marrow bones. And I think I do have beef tendon coming in a month or two, but you know, for me not having it now, you know, I'm kind of stressed trying to get people the product, trying to make sure everyone's happy. So far, so good. I guess the main thing I wanted to ask you guys is how do you like the smaller portion steaks? You know, I'm doing sirloin, filet mignon in much smaller portions. So you can pay, you know, two, three, four dollars for a steak that's several ounces. It's great for kids, people that, you know, don't eat huge chunks of meat every single meal. I guess we'll take a quick look at that venison, then uh, walk around and talk about some other stuff. So here we have the rack of venison. This is our most expensive product. It's a relatively low yield, and I'm actually looking for a different source on this one. This is the ground venison. Uh, it comes in five pound packs, and I didn't actually get that many of these in because I thought you guys would want something packaged smaller, but uh, these are pretty much all sold out. So I'll try to get some more in for next week and I'm working on getting this in one pound portions. What's also in a five pound portion is the stew meat. And uh, we sold out of this pretty much as well, uh, which I'll be getting some more in. Just very lean, tasty. I've been actually eating this for the past week, uh, particularly this flank steak. And in this, which is about two pounds, is actually five or six flanks. And they're really nice, tiny flank steaks because you know deer is a relatively tiny animal. So what I did was you know, I thawed one of these out kept in the fridge and I had, you know, three to four days worth of meat. Here we have some loin steaks, which are packaged much smaller. Uh, these are actually four ounce portions and I think I'm charging three or four dollars each of these, but you know, venison's expensive. So I'm happy that I've been able to get, you know, minced meat and stew meat that's very affordable. The flanks are affordable as well. And the loins are one of the more expensive cuts, but you know, we're portioning it pretty small, uh, just like these Denver steaks. Uh, which I'm cutting like this. These are a little bit irregular because of how the muscle is shaped, but you know, it still turns out pretty good. Uh, we actually had these available uh, for a couple months in a row as one of our only venison cuts. So I know a lot of you guys order this this week. Uh, if you did place an order, uh, you get one of these for free. Uh, so I'm going to have some feedback from you guys later this week. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, so definitely let me know how the venison is, what other cuts you guys would like to see, and I'll see if I can get them. I mean, with all the deer in New York, you know, once I get that slaughterhouse up and running, hopefully we can figure something out because, you know, this venison is very, very expensive and to be able to get 
people a high quality, wild quality source of healthy, clean meat, uh, definitely a priority. And it's nice because it's really, really lean. You know, I was actually thinking about doing like a super lean beef grind, like, I don't know, 97.3 or something crazy, but eh, you know, what's the point if you can get ground venison? Like if someone wants something that lean, just buy the venison, at least that's the way I looked at it. You know, the wild boar has been going okay. You know, some of you guys order it. I'm not sure if I want to keep it or not. You know, the past few weeks it actually wasn't selling that much and then a bunch of people ordered it this week. So uh, we'll see how that goes for a little while longer. I'm really excited and happy about uh, the pork we've been offering, the Iberico pork. And I was actually a little discouraged because I saw some other like American farms online selling Iberico pork and they basically just took Iberian pigs, which is the breed, and they're feeding them corn and soy. So if you guys are buying Iberico pork, just make sure to ask you know, if the pigs are actually Iberico quality, raised on Spanish pastures, acorns, that type of stuff. You know, there are some types of Iberico that get grain in Spain, but it's a high quality grain. They're not feeding them corn and soy. And most of the Iberico is just 100% pasture raised on acorns and olive trees and that type of stuff. And so once again, you know, the American farmers use their marketing uh, to, to try to scam people out of some money and, and get them to think they're eating higher quality product than they actually are. You know, and that's the main reason I started Frankie's Free Range Meat for people to go on the website, purchase a product, and be happy and confident that they're actually getting quality. The animal was fed what it was supposed to be fed. You know, now you have to basically interrogate a farmer or butcher to get the truth out of them. Uh, so a couple more things going on this week. Uh, we did run out of cod liver oil the past few weeks. I will be getting some in this week. I should have it ready uh, for next week or the week after. Uh, the whey protein is going back in stock, uh, so you guys can order it, and I'll have it shipped out by the end of the week. I guess I could show you guys some other stuff real quick. The best bars are flying like crazy. I'm almost out of vanilla, running low on chocolate and extra chocolate. Uh, let me know if you guys like those flavors. I really wanted to just only sell like one chocolate flavor and then perhaps get something else or just keep the three basic, you know, vanilla, berry, and chocolate. I think that's really good. Uh, but we've got plenty of berry bars for you guys. Uh, we launched the salts last week, the Peruvian pink and the Bolivian rose salt, just land salts, free of pollution, nothing to worry about on that front. And then the Nature's Glucose is now available in 10 ounce jars instead of just the four ounce jars. Uh, this is basically honey with 75% glucose as opposed to the typical 35%. Much easier on the liver and I've had a lot of uh, positive feedback on this. Yeah, I feel like every single business idea and venture I do is like a million dollar idea. It's just you know, without the astroturfing connections and that type of stuff, yeah, it takes a little bit longer to get where you want to get. I uh, forgot to mention, all of the cheeses are in stock with the exception of the Gouda cheese. So if you guys would like to try some high quality raw cheese, check it out. You know, I don't really think I have anything else to show you guys. You know, I'm just really trying to focus, keep at it, uh, you know, be happy and excited, uh, you know, with how far I've come, with how uh, far I plan on going. You know, of course, one big part of that is being able to provide people high quality food affordably, but also, you know, support the local community in a way, hire people, uh, give them, you know, stable jobs. And I had, you know, two guys come in earlier asking for a job and I felt bad because I'm like, guys, look, I'm sorry. You know, I just got rid of my business partner. Things aren't going so well right now. I'm basically, you know, running things down here myself to see how they go for a little bit. And, you know, there, there's an unfortunate amount of people out there right now especially with what's going on in the world that can't even get like a minimum wage job and, and keep things stable. And, you know, I'd love to <laughs> offer everyone a job, but um, uh, that's just not reality. And uh, I'm sure in the very near future, uh, you know, if things go well, I'll be expanding and we'll be able to help people out in more ways than one. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, if you have any questions about the products, anything you guys would like to see, uh, please let me know down in the comments below. So please make sure to like the video subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. Check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. And therefore, check out frank where you will see links to all of my businesses, Frankie's Arranged Meat, Frankie's Arranged Foods, Frankie's Naturals, Organ Supplements, and Wi-Fi Shielding. <music>